Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix if your Skype app is just not opening on mobile. So if you're trying to open the Skype app and it's just not opening, then here are six easy ways to fix this. So unfortunately this issue can be caused by a lot of things and that's why we have to go over a lot of different options in order to fix this. So make sure to stick till the end to make sure that you don't forget any option and that your Skype app will 100% work again. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we are actually connected to the Wi-Fi. I know it sounds really easy, but sometimes people just forget this. And if they're watching this on a second computer or something, or on a, on a computer basically, well, their phone is not on the Wi-Fi, then this could cause some issues. So I will just recommend making sure that your phone is actually connected to the Wi-Fi or it has cellular mode enabled because Skype does require Wi-Fi. Now, if you've already tried that and it's still not working, then a second thing I would recommend doing is heading over to the App Store or Google Play Store. And you can literally just type in Skype just like this. And once you've done that, you just want to make sure that Skype is actually updated to the latest version. We can literally see right now that Skype is not updated to the latest version. And if you're running an extremely, extremely late version of Skype, then this could cause issues with the straight up the app not opening because it basically says that it needs to be updated. However, it will not to give you an actual error code or anything but it basically just means that you need to update it so i'll definitely recommend doing this now if you've already tried it as well and it's still not working the third thing i would simply recommend doing is trying to clear the cache of your entire skype app it's really easy to do this on Android and iPhone. On Android, you just scroll down on your main settings page till you find Skype. However, over on an iPhone, you need to click on general, iPhone storage, wait a few seconds till it's loaded. You wanna scroll down till you find Skype. Based on how many apps you have, have that's basically how you long how long you have to scroll down. You can see mine is right here. And then on Android, you will literally just have a clear cache button. On iPhone, however, we only have an offload app button. But if you click on that, it will basically just hard reset your entire Skype app. And 99% of the times, this will fix a lot of issues you are having with the Skype app. So I will definitely recommend just clearing the cache or clicking on offload app. Now, if you've also tried that before and it is literally just still not working, then the fourth method I have for you guys is just simply trying to restart your phone. You've probably already tried this before. You have tried to restart your phone, but I would just recommend doing it again or maybe do it three, four or five times in a row because restarting your phone is an easy way to just completely refresh your entire phone. And maybe if you have too many apps running, that could cause some issues as well with Skype. So I'll just recommend making sure that you actually restart start your phone now if you've already done that as well then i have a few more options left for you actually two more option options so what you can actually do is simply just going back over to the skype app and once you've done that just hold it down and you want to actually completely remove the app you want to remove it and reinstall it this is a really easy way in order to fix a lot of issues you're having with any app including skype and yeah, do know that if you do this, you will need to completely re-log in again and most of your call history will be gone. So do be a little bit careful about this, but if you reinstall an app, it will 99% sure work again. If you already tried that before as well, then I have last one last method for you. Let's go into settings and then into general and into iPhone storage again or Android storage, it's basically the same. And you want to simply make sure that you have enough gigabytes left on your device. Sometimes when your device is completely full, some apps will just not open anymore because there's no way they can write that uh, write any more uh, gigabytes over on your device, meaning it will just not open. So always make sure that you have at least a few gigabytes left over on your device in order to actually open apps. So yeah, that are the six easiest ways I have for you guys in order to actually fix this issue for Skype not opening. If you learned something from this video, I will highly appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope I will see you in my next YouTube tutorial video.